In UML, we are taking a use case diagram, an example. So here is a very uh, simple and everyone has encountered this in their daily life. So this is a restaurant and how we are going to make a use case because use case is basically scenario. So who is going to interact or who is going to use what, what kind of relationship use cases have here. So that is what we are going to discuss. There is no message passing. We are not giving any detail. We are just showing who needs whom. What are the internal components inside the boundary and which are the external actors. So before we go ahead, let me just give you a brief about the symbols and notations which we use in use case diagram. The first thing first is actor. Actor can be a human being, it can be a, uh, another system, it can be a component. It's shown like a stick figure, stick figure. It's external, not a, not a part of the system. After that, use case is going to come. We give it in the ellipse. This is use case. So, there are relationship. Before that, one more thing is generalization. Whenever we link uh, actor with any use case, it will be a simple line with no arrow, no arrow. But when we use include or extend, then we use the direction of the arrow. So as I was telling, the use cases can be generalized. Generalization means making it more specific or making it more general. So the top one, below one. The top one, for example, we can further divide it depending upon, or you can assume it to be a base class and the uh, subclass. This is how you can think it of. So we can divide an account into say saving account, current account, an I account. For a payment, you can divide it into say cash or credit card. This is how we generalize it. So there are two relationship which which we'll see uh, generally in a use case diagram. One is extend, one is included. One is extend, one is include. Include means whenever one use case is working, it is going to ask or call. You can say call the other use case every time, every time. In order to make food, you have to switch on your gas or stove or some heating element. Without heating element or stove or gas, you cannot, you cannot make food or oven, microwave oven, whichever is the thing. So this use case will always include that other use case. Will always include. Coming to extend. Now, as I said, that it is always UC2 will be called when UC1 will be called. UC3 will only be called when it is required. When it is required, not every time. UC2 every time, whatever is the case. UC1 runs, UC2 always runs. Bus UC3 only when UC1 requires it or certain condition which force UC1 to call UC3, otherwise not. Every time it's not called, it's extend, it's extend. So let me take you an example. This is a restaurant based example. So what is the scenario, use case scenario we can make for a restaurant? There are certain things which we make and we will not make that boundary. As I'm, I'm just saying that the boundary should be made first, logically. But practically, we cannot make it. So first thing what we'll do, we'll make the internal, all the use cases and interaction. Then we're going to give the boundary because beforehand we can't, we can't do it because we will be changing it all the time till we freeze it. And then in boundary, we are going to give the name of the system. So let us start. The first, first one you are going to identify. In a hotel, if there is no customer or a client, what is the, what is the use of having a restaurant? You need to have a customer. 
For that, you need a client, that is customer. So the first actor we can identify is a client. First actor is a client. Who can be another actor? Client, when he enters, he will talk to someone, uh, say a waiter, and he'll ask waiter to bring something for him or order something. He's not eating, but he may order to you know pack it up. So here we have waiter as another another actor. Now this, if the hotel is a small restaurant, small waiter is going to take the money. But if it is a good uh, hotel or restaurant, there will be proper cashier who will deal with all the accounts. So we can have an actor here, which can be called as a cashier. So it depends on your application, the way you are making, uh, what you can identify, identify. So the client will come and what he is going to do firsthand. Just take, take a normal example. It will order a food. Either he will eat the food or either he will take the food. But here I am going to add one more additional thing. And you will see when I add, add some additional thing, how the, the use case will change. So there, these use cases will be changed more, you know, many times. We cannot freeze it one time. Every time you add for one case, you remove one case before freezing it. So a client or customer is coming. The first thing he is going to do is to order food. Then when he is done, he pay for food. He order food, he eat food, and then he pay for food. Let me tell you again. Client is coming, ordering the food, food coming, he eating, he is eating food, and he is leaving after pay. So what kind of relationship it can be? So in order to eat food, he need to order. He need to order. So this is order food. So link this client with order food. Client is going to eat, eat food. A client is going to pay. Whosoever has eaten, he is going to pay. So pay for food. Now order food, you are going to order food to whom? To the waiter. So just link it. Now there are different lines and they are not showing another user or if I, if I show this use case to another one, he will not be able to know what exactly is going on. So write it. Right here, place order. Right here, waiter will receive order. This is this is what you can make it more uh, with uh, more metadata, more information you are prov providing. Client will pay for pay payment done or pay for food. Now eat food, order food, and pay food. Now it may happen that in ordering food, he may he may ask for some uh, drinks. So now I am adding something else, which is depending upon these scenarios. It will happen in a, in a restaurant that a client will may order for a drink, may not order for a drink. So this will come in extent. So it's may or may not. If I go, I won't. If you go, you may. So now we have an extend relationship. So we'll give an extend relationship from order drink to order food and extend on the top with inside the include double include brackets or double angle brackets now waiter has received the order now he has to serve food he will take the order he will bring the food which is cooked by the chef and then he will serve the food and uh, people who are ordering the drinks when they are ordering the drinks and you if you if you, uh, waiter is serving the food he will also serve the drinks so it, this is also an extended. Uh, everyone won't order for the drink and everyone won't get the drink. Only who has ordered is going to get. So it's extend relationship. So you can also give information on this line. For example, you can give if uh, this drink is ordered, a drink is asked. So you can just add certain information to make it more uh, understandable for a layman also for anyone who is who reads this diagram so as i just in, uh, mentioned chef who is going to make the food so we will add a chef so we have another actor which we can include so 
we have got a possibility of having an actor. So we can call him as a chef. As a chef. Now chef will do what? He'll make the first he'll get the order and he'll make the food and just deliver, give it to waiter. So whenever order food is done by waiter, he'll go and to the chef and chef says, okay, I got the order. So he'll confirm the order. Chef got the order and he confirmed the order. After that, he'll cook the food. So cook food. This is done by whom? This is done by chef. So now chef is related with this cook food. So this is a very, this, this is just a general way. You see something as a human, as a, a customer. So what uh, extra we can do? Uh, if you are eating food, you can also call for uh, some drinks. You have because ordered for drink. So that will again extend. This will again extend. So three extend are there. One, two, three. And these are all related to ordering some drinks. If you have not ordered, all these three extend will not come here. So they are as and when or on the demand basis it has come. Now for pay for food, the, when the client is paying, the cashier will also do some action. So he will accept the payment. When the client will pay, the cashier is going to accept the payment. Otherwise, he'll say your card is not working or uh, your cash is less kind of thing. Now, if again, we have to take that scenario also. If he ordered for drinks, he had to pay for that drink also. He paid for the food. Actually, you know, most of the time the food and drink are included. Some some places, the food and uh, beverage part is all different, different. or So, they have different uh, bills. That's for. So this is a very basic example. I didn't include in uh, did it include include because this is a very basic example just for your understanding. No, it's not done. One more thing is remaining. So you always make a boundary. This whatever you have written on the line, it also it needs to be outside this boundary. You cannot have it inside or in between in between these lines. So this, this, these are full lines. My, my lines are not always straight. So that's why this CO should be outside the boundary, right? This confirm order should be outside the boundary. Let me just have it, included it. And I, I told you that you cannot have it. You just keep it out. So this is the system boundary. This is your use case scenario for this is system boundary. This is actor. These are use cases. These are the relationship, these are the relationship and these are some uh, information and this is a restaurant, a restaurant use case or use case scenario. Okay, thank you.